way to the clan leader summons you. He is... in talk. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time. Shepard. Good enough? Excuse me. <laughs> Adam, Shepard! My friend! You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the Void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erdnot possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan. Though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Speak when spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown, killing it with big guns. Good times. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. What do the women of Clan Erdnot think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. Your women have their own clan structure? Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without clan leader Yuta's approval. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs. Rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Chorgal has the longest breeding line. Gatatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even Erdnot. We need to rethink. Restart. This sounds ambitious. 
How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared. Worse than I'd hoped. It can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained Varen. Always fighting, guarding their pathetic stick in the ground. When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, Welp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? I need Grunt back up to speed. What's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Adolescence? Can't we just take him to Omega and buy him a few dances? I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? You'll let a tank-bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big. But many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank, did he, boy? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. This is his choice. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew, hmm? I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe and homey like Pharaohs and Ilos. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viol. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. Watch it, human! At first I thought it was a waste of ammunition just to kill incoming vermin. Now, I think if these Erdnot can pinpoint such small mammals with these guns, they'll make short work of an incoming invasion force. Let's see what the human can do.